the African National Congress is moving swiftly to reform governance in several northwest municipalities where misconduct and poor accountability have raised concerns. In a decisive move, the ANC's National Working Committee recently mandated the replacement of key leaders in Moses Kotane and other municipalities across the province. As part of the reform, all ANC proportional representation councillors in the affected councils may soon be replaced to ensure better accountability and discipline within the party's local leadership. Raymond Morayne, the ANC's regional secretary, spoke on Monday about the party's commitment to addressing recent disruptions. Last week, a council speaker, Kukumjani, reportedly tore up the council agenda in protest at a postponed council meeting, causing an incident that brought the ANC and the Moses Kotani Council into public disrepute. Following this, the NWC gave Mjali a 48-hour ultimatum to step down from her position, emphasizing the ANC's stance against behavior it views as unprofessional and damaging to the party's image. According to Moraine, the ANC considers respect for council procedures and public trust essential to its mission. He stressed that the recent incident was a clear breach of the organization's principles, stating, Our councillors must uphold the highest standards of integrity and discipline, if we are to maintain the public's confidence in our governance. To address broader governance concerns, the ANC's Regional Working Committee is collaborating with NWC to design a strategy for recognizing the Moses Kotani Council and others marked for intervention. Although the RWC has not yet released the names of councillors likely to be removed, it confirmed that all ACPR councillors in the affected areas are under review. This review aims to assess each councillor's conduct and performance as part of the ANC's commitment to fostering reliable and responsible leadership. Political analysts believe that this intervention by the NWC reflects a broader concern over persistent internal issues within the ANC's Northwest branch, especially as it relates to governance and service delivery failures. Recently, ANC officials in various Northwest municipalities have been criticized for infighting, alleged corruption and lack of accountability leading to frustrations among communities and pressure on the party's leadership. With the 2024 national elections approaching, the ANC's leadership appears determined to reinforce its values and demonstrate that it will not tolerate misconduct among its representatives. The current restructuring efforts aim to restore stability and public confidence by taking decisive action against party members who fail to uphold their responsibilities. The NWC and RWC have indicated that they will be closely monitoring the performance of Northwest Municipal Councils in the coming months. Should these changes prove effective, the ANC may replicate similar actions in other areas where governance issues persist, underscoring the party's commitment to maintaining accountability within its ranks.